Hey there, it's Kat and this is Brews and Reviews. So it's day five of the Because We Can Readathon, and today's challenge is based on Hercules, go the distance. The idea of the challenge is to say which characters that you would go to the underworld to save. Now this doesn't have to be characters that have died. I am not going to be giving any spoilers about character deaths in this video, so if you're worried about that then don't be worried about that. I just have such intense feelings for these characters that if they had died in any of their novels or you know in any headcanons or anything, I would go to the underworld to rescue them and bring them back because I do not want them to die. So yes, this is a list of characters that I would go to the underworld to save. So let's get the obvious one out of the way. Dress the Legend, my favourite character of all time. He is not on this list. I know, shocking, shocking, shocking. But I have a very good reason for this, I think. It is simply that if Dress died, then he would be seriously pissed at me for coming to get him from the underworld when all he wants to do is be with his wife and, you know, be happy in the afterlife. So I don't want Dress to be angry with me, I want him to be at peace in his afterlife. And if I couldn't bring his wife back to, no, I'm just, just not doing it. So that is why he's not on this list, even though I would totally bring him back if he wouldn't be pissed at me. Next up we have Rissand and, you know, the entire inner circle. Just all of them from the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I would hate to see any of them die at all. And I would be really, really sad about it. I just, I, they're just comfort characters. I love them. And I would definitely go and get them back. Next up we have Ariel, Seth and Donia from the Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr. These three characters are my favourite characters from this series and I don't know, I just like them all for different reasons. Ariel is my favourite character, I just love him, he's dark, mysterious, a bit of a dick. I just love him. Donia has had such a hard life and I want her to be happy forever and for always so I would come and get her because I want her to live happily ever after. And Seth is... Um, King of Consent, we love Seth, he is an amazing guy and I just wouldn't want anything to happen to him either. The funniest thing is none of those are actually technically main main characters, but like, I love them so much. Next up we have Quinn from The Last Son by Katie Edwards. Actually most of the gang, honestly, I would be so distraught if they died, but Quinn is such a little cinnamon roll and he can see the future and he's just... Oh, he's just so cute, I love him so much. In the first book when you meet him he's a teenager and he can see the potential for what is going to happen in the future and he's had like a really hard upbringing because everyone thinks he's really strange and don't really know what to do with him and he starts making friends and I just oh he's so cute you should read The Last Son if you haven't read it already such cute found family vibes mm, love it next up we have Liv from The Avant Guards so The Avant Guards is a contemporary graphic novel about a girls basketball team that they're trying to start and Liv is the peppiest person ever. She's so determined to get this basketball team going and she's like a ray of sunshine. I would just be so sad if anything bad happened to her and I'd be like, no, come back, bring your happiness back, please, please. And along the same lines, Bitty from Check Please because he is the pie-making hockey player vlogger cuteness. Also Charlie and Nick from the Heartstopper series, I just want them to be happy and hold them together so they can come too. I would I would save them. Apparently I would really like to save Dark Boys and Cinema Rolls. <laughs> That's like my only thing. <laughs> Apparently I have a type for saving. Next up we have Ragnar from Red Rising. He is one of my favourite characters in that entire series. He is a giant obsidian guy who was sort of raised and born to fight in this horrible world but I, I just love him, I love how he acts and I love his counsel, it's really great and I just feel like the world would be a better place if Ragnar was always in it so I would bring him back if anything happened to him. Next up we have Cress from Cress and the Lunar Chronicles. I just feel like Cress had a shit start to life watching everyone from her space ship thing and just having a bad time and she's so cute and I just want her to be happy for all time so she would definitely have to come back so she could go and be happy and that would be great. And lastly Finnick O'Dare from The Hunger Games. I just want him and Annie to be happy with their child forever and not have to think about The Hunger Games 
like both of them have had such a hard time throughout the entire Hunger Games book and the things that happen before the Hunger Games book. Just all of it. Just I just want them to be happy. I want all these characters to be happy. And if one of them died, I would go and I would save them and say, no, no death. Not today! Not today, Satan! Sorry. Yes, I don't want any of these characters to die and I would try and save them if I were with them. I'm sure there's many characters that I actually just missed on this list. Let me know who you would desperately want to save. Again, no spoilers for anybody here, but characters that if they did die, who would you go and rescue? So if you have made it this far into the video, then leave me some sort of death emoji? A Halloween emoji. We'll go with Halloween emoji because that's less morbid, I guess. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!